lovers, welcome back to For the Love of Animals. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a meet all my pets. These are going to be the animals at my house and nowhere else, so let's get on with the video. I also just wanted to say that we are so close to 200 subscribers, so please comment down below what I should do for a 200 subscriber special for when I reach it. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the cats. So this is Max. He is a four-year-old Burmese and his colour is chocolate. A little fun fact. When you get a lilac Burmese and a brown Burmese, the colours mixed together makes the beautiful chocolate. Max's pedigree name was Typha Valerian. His mum was called Gypsy Lee and she was the brown Burmese. I didn't actually record the name of his dad, but all I know is that a male cat was called a sire and also a female was called a dam. If you've watched some of my previous video, you'll know that he is an incredibly talented cat because he can do jumps, like actually over jumps. He can do parkour and I haven't really done a video yet, but he can actually sit and he can back up. So if you want me to do a video on that, comment down below and I will do it. So this is Molly, she is a five-year-old Bengal cat. She was born in 2015 and her pattern is marble, basically a marbling. Her pedigree name is Typha Molly Daydream. Molly had three litters and after that her breeders retired her. Her mum was actually a brown spotted Bengal and as you know it's called a dam. And then her sire, aka okay, dad, was a brown spotted Bengal. A cat that's been bred is called a queen. And also, a few things about Molly. She is very, very good at breaking into this biscuit box. So this one right here. She will try and get the lid off it. So one time she actually used her teeth. If you've seen my first ever YouTube video, you would have seen at the end of it that Molly actually, she caught it on camera and she managed to bite it. And she got the lid off. And uh, tragedy happened the other day because she knocked it off the side. Well, I think it was Max who knocked it off the side and all the biscuits went everywhere and Max is literally hoovering it up like a hoover. I will put a link to that video in the description below so you can see it if you haven't already. We got Molly when she was three years old. So next we're moving on to Jasper. He is a gerbil and he is one and a half years old. Jasper had a brother called Peanut, but sadly he did pass away. And if you watched my 2020 recap, you would have seen that he died on October 10th, 2020. You can't really see him now only because he is sleeping, but he is a black gerbil with a white spot on his head and on his chin. His birthday is the 15th of March. Jasper is a very, very speedy gerbil. Jasper's favourite treats are these apple niblets and these berry niblets. He also really likes walnut. If you haven't seen them, this is what they look like. And then he also loves these like little heart treats. Um, and most of these you can probably find at your pet shop or something like this. But these are just some of his favourites. So these are his four favourite treats. But anyways, now we are going to move on to the guinea pigs so the first guinea pigs i'm going to be introducing you guys to is some of the popular guinea pigs in my youtube videos so this is cinnamon and nutmeg so this one over here is nutmeg and she has a very very cool little hairstyle or fur style and it just goes up there and then it's just you know down the other way so a little bit of a rock star aren't you 
yeah good girl and then over here we have cinnamon she is a ginger guinea pig and she's got a white little mark on her head and she if you watched my 2020 recap you would have seen that she had a surgery that removed a mask and she is doing way better right now so yeah i'm not exactly certain on like the type of guinea pig they are or like their age i'm pretty sure they're either three or um five years old but anyways this is enough with these two now we are moving on to the guinea pigs downstairs also known as the three bees so the first guinea pig I'm going to be introducing you guys to out of the three B's is Bella. Bella is my sister's guinea pig and she is one years old. Her nickname is Belle Belle and she is very skittish. So her colour is chestnut and white so just little patches. Now we're going to move on to Boo. So this is Boo. She is my mum's guinea pig and she is two years old. Her nickname or her full name is Cindy Boo and she has a nice little white dot on her head up here and she's got a very nice hairstyle. She also has a third eyelid, as you can see, and her colour is a black with a little brown chestnutty, almost like a little belt around her, like a little, it's going around her. She is kind of the second in charge, but also the most calmest out of them all. Um, she will just sit here and she won't like try and bite or at all. She's just very, very tame and calm and everything like that. But anyways, now we're going to be moving on to the last and final guinea pig. So this is Butterscotch. She is my guinea pig and she is two years old. She doesn't really have a nickname, but I like to call her Bubba for some reason. And she has this beautiful white face and a white behind part. And her color mainly is a beautiful blonde. And that's why I fell in love with her. She is actually the alpha piggy, so she will boss all her other siblings around and she likes to steal most of the food, so sometimes we have to feed them all separately. So that is all the animals, now I'm going to introduce you to the insects and bugs. Hi girls! A present! Okay, so now we're moving on to the insects and like the snails and stuff like that. So this is actually my African snail little tank and there are four living inside. They are around like nine months old and they're getting pretty big. They love lettuce and cucumber and we haven't named any of them because it's so hard to tell the difference between them all. But anyways, now we're moving on to the stick insects. We also have two stick insects and they are around four months old. But anyways, I only took one out because they like to run a lot. But that concludes today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye animal lovers.